Hey everyone, Ryan here and welcome back to my channel. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you would know that I've been a sales engineer for just north of seven years, but what you probably don't know is I actually hold a little over 10 technical certifications. And if any of you have ever taken a technical certification before, you know it takes a lot of time, it's not inexpensive by any means if you actually attend a virtual instructor-led training to prepare for the certification as an example that a lot of vendors offer. This could be anywhere from three to $5,000, depending on if it's a three or a five-day instructor-led training, and that's to prepare you for the certification. To actually take a certification, especially if you're self-studying, could be anywhere from $250 to $500 per proctored exam. If you, you know, if you fail your first attempt, which many of us do, you know, you have to pay for that again. So we're talking upwards of $500 to $1,000 just to take a certification a couple of times to obtain that. And you know, this kind of really begs the question, right? Is are technical certifications necessary to be successful as a sales engineer? But before we get into that, if you like today's video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell notification if you wanna be up to date on every single time I create a new video. I'm gonna be trying to create one every single Wednesday at 5 p.m., so definitely you know keep up to date with that. It doesn't cost you a thing and it really helps out my channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you give me that thumbs up button now. So my answer is unequivocally, most of the time, no. And it's not, you know, it's not necessary as a sales engineer to have all these technical certifications. And that's because as a sales engineer, especially if you have two or three years of experience at a minimum, that experience will outweigh any sort of technical certification you could obtain. Because after all, our role as a sales engineer is to help drive the sales cycle and simply, you know, our goal is to sell. And most technical certifications out there are designed for your typical IT administrator. Meaning if you ever go in and you take an assessment for a certification, you'll notice the questions are geared towards design, implementation, and most of the time, you know, as a technical sales resource, we it's unnecessary to know that stuff. We need to know things like, you know, the product features, how to explain the features to the customer, you know, the different product additions. We might need to show how the product can solve for the customer pain points. We might need to know enough to do a basic proof of concept, but if it ever gets too far into the, into the weeds, we can bring on another technical resource, maybe from you know customer experience or from the implementation team to help drive that opportunity. So the reason I say most of the time no is because there are some vendors out there that do require sales engineers to get a little deeper than, into the technology and maybe have a post sales aspect to the role. So for an example, you know, my second sales engineer job um, out in the market was with a more startup type company. And as a part of my role as a sales engineer following the sales cycle, I was responsible for actually implementing the solution as well. So I would spend half of my time on the road actually doing in-person demos and the other half of the time I'd actually be doing actual installations and implementations of the solution. I would say that's pretty rare for a sales engineer to have a hybrid role where you're pre and post sales, but there are type, those type of roles out there. So having those technical certifications could be beneficial if you do need to get deeper into the conversations with the IT administrator, with the engineer, than you would typically need to as a traditional sales engineer. Again, experience trumps all, but having that technical certification in that type of scenario would definitely do more good than it would bad. Also, if you're in college or maybe you're looking to make a transition to become a sales engineer, maybe you have an IT administrator or security admin type background, having a technical certification that's relevant to the type of technology you're trying to get into as a sales engineer could have an impact of at least whether or not you get passed by by the recruiter or not. So for example, I think I mentioned this on one of my previous videos, but I've interviewed quite a few candidates before in my previous role. And we actually told the recruiter when she's looking at different resumes to see if they have things like a Microsoft certification, a Citrix certification. And if they do, you know, she's not gonna just throw those candidates in you know, the discard pile, right? She's gonna be like, oh, they have the technical aptitude for the role. I'm gonna pass them along to the hiring manager to have an initial conversation and see if they have 
the soft skills, the charisma necessary to be in a pre-sales type role because they already have the technical aptitude. This certification demonstrates that, that they've taken the time to learn the technology. So in that type of scenario, having a technical certification, if you're trying to get into being a sales engineer for the first time, could have a huge value and a huge benefit for you as somebody trying to you know, interview for those type of positions. So again, I have a ton of friends that are sales engineers with five plus years of experience. They work across all different kinds of technology segments across plenty of different different vendors. And most of them that I talk to and I ask them about their certification attainments, they say, you know, they don't really bother with it unless their manager makes the requirement. So again, it kind of shows you that to be successful as an SC, and these are very successful individuals that are now senior level in their role, they don't think technical certifications matter to what they're doing on a day to day. But you know, I would say at the same time, it doesn't hurt to obtain one here and there if you do have the free time, if you do have the bandwidth. It's definitely a resume booster. It helps improve your own personal brand, especially within your organization that you've taken the time to try and be more technical. Um, so it definitely does more good than bad, but it's again, it's not really necessary to, to have success in your role. Instead, if you are a newer sales engineer or you're trying to make a pivot into sales engineering, I'd focus on three main factors. Your first is understanding the technology and the problem that the technology was initially created to solve for. Your second is your soft skills and your ability to relate the technology in an easy to understand and relatable manner. And then lastly, and arguably the most important in my opinion, is your ability to create relationships. Um, there's a lot of ways to do that. You can simply strike conversations with random people in the grocery store. So you can you know, practice actually getting to know somebody who is a complete stranger to you, which is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. There's a lot of self-help book books out there. You know, I'm a huge fan of how to win friends and influence people. I think that's the, the Bible of being a sales engineer because that's what we do on a day-to-day on a -day basis. Again, if you like today's video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Again, hit that little bell notification if you wanna be up to date every time I create a new video. I would really, really appreciate all of you to, to hit that thumbs up button. Um, outside of that, you know, thank you all for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments below. Um, that's all I got for today, so bye all.